as I was saying, and so they decided to use a symbol um, for pi, which is 3.14. And okay, so 3.14 multiplied by the diameter gives me the circumference. And that's where that formula comes from. Circumference is equal to the diameter multiplied by the value of pi. Okay, and why? Because they noticed, they noticed that if I have, for example, this one that is 2.8, right? It's 2.8, 2.8. They noticed that that number goes around, the 2.8 is, it goes around once. Let me mark it in here. Okay, from here, the 2.8, you mark it once, then again, from there, two times, and once more, three times up to here, but look at that part. It reaches, with three, it reaches up to here, but then it has a little bit more of that La next diameter okay so that's where it comes from same thing here the diameter is almost six so let's mark in here it's about five point five point almost five point nine okay so that's once up to here. Two times right there. Three times up to right there. And you need a little bit more, okay? So that's the three point and a little bit more. So the diameter, three times and a little bit more, okay? This is what pi represents. That is gonna go, this diameter goes around the circle three times and a little bit more. So that's what we're gonna be using. That's the, the formula to find the circumference of any circle. So if they give me the diameter, then I can just multiply it by 3.14 and I know the distance around the circle. And that's like to decorate um, things that are circular or maybe if I'm gonna put bricks around a tree in forming a circle, I need to know how many bricks I need and like how much distance I need to cover to make that circle, etc. Okay, the other thing is that we said that the diameter is twice the radius. So this diameter is the same as saying two times the radius, okay? Two multiplied by the radius. And so they said that another formula that we can use is two multiplied by the radius, which represents the diameter, times pi, which is just the same thing. But the way they, they see it is not like this. They write it as, Circumference equals 2 pi r. 2 pi r. And so that's those are the two that we're going to be using. Most people like this one because you just, um, if what they give you is the radius. Oh, why am I putting 2 pi r square? <laughs> it's just 2 pi r. Sorry about that. Okay, 2 pi r. So all they do, if they give you the radius, you just double it and replace it in there. But we'll, we'll uh, practice with that a little bit more. Okay, now for the area, we're gonna be using this formula, so I'm gonna put it on the side. Uh, but for the area, and let me see if I, you can see all of this, maybe not. And that's all you can zoom out. Okay, so in here, I have a circle. Okay, some people were saying pizza. 
So if we're talking about the crust, the circumference, but if we're talking about the, the place where you have the pepperoni, the cheese, the, the sauce, then that's gonna be your area, okay? The area of the pizza. And so how do you find the area? We already know how to find the circumference, but how do you find the area? And so, let me move this. Um, what you would do to figure out where that formula comes from, you already seen the formula probably to find the area, but if not, I'll show you where it comes from. And so, it's not gonna fit in here, but this is what you have, okay? I'm gonna move it over. That's how, what you have. Notice how it goes like this, and then on the other side, let me grab this, it goes also like this. So it's kind of like a parallelogram, right? It's like a parallelogram. And if you think about it, the pizza was like this, so that was kind of like the radius. This part is the radius, okay? So have that in mind when we start analyzing what this means. So parallelogram. A par it looks like a parallelogram, something like this, okay? And previously we have learned that parallelograms for the area of a parallelogram is always base, which is this part, times height, okay? That's it. But in here, what we have with this pizza <laughs> is that more or less, this is what we have. And then these are the little pieces cut in, okay, like slices. So what is this? If we, we were talking about the pizza or the circle, well, some people notice that that's related to the circumference because it's the, the red part, right? And the circumference, but I said the whole circumference and they said, well, no, because Part of that is over here, and they notice that there are four pieces on the top and then four at the bottom. And so, in reality, the base is not the base, is the circumference divided by two because half of it is here, half of the circumference is up here. So the area for this circle is gonna be circumference, instead of base, is the circum circumference divided by two. Again, why? Because this base, is made up by the circumference, but only half of it. So that's why we're dividing it by two, okay? And the height, when we cut this into smaller slices, this almost becomes kind of like this, okay? The slices are so skinny that the radius kind of becomes the height. And so instead of height, we're gonna put radius because that's the height, okay? That's the height of, it's gonna be the height of the, of the parallelogram. Okay, moving that. Now, we already know that the circumference is two pi r, okay? Sorry again about that. So I'm going to replace this c, the c I'm going to replace by two pi r, divided by two, because remember that the circumference was divided by two, up and down and multiply by the radius. Well, in here, two divided by two cancel, and what do you end up with? Now you only have pi, and radius times radius becomes radius squared. And so that's where my formula for area comes from. Okay, now that we know where the circumference comes from, it's because we have the diameter three times and a little bit more around the circle and that becomes the circumference. And this is just another way of writing diameter. And for the area, well, we replace the circumference instead of base and the height was replaced with radius and we came up with this. So now let's apply these two formulas or we can say that it's three to a problem. And so it says in here, it says 
find the area and circumference find the area and circumference and so for the area I'm going I'm going to use the formula pi r square pi we know that it's 3.14 the radius is always from the center to the outside, so it's already there, which is 3 squared. And according to PEMDAS, I don't multiply first. First, I have to do exponents, so it's going to be 3.14 times 3 squared is 3 times 3, 9. I'm going to use my calculator, and so... 3.14 times 9 gives me 28.26. Area is always going to be squared. So it's, since it's inches, it's going to be square inches. Okay, so that's the area for this. When would you use area? When you're going to put uh, some type of material in a circular form, but it's to cover the area. Okay. How do you find the circumference? Circumference is, you can either use C equals D pi or 2 pi R. Some people look at what they are given and they prefer to use that. So in here, some people would say, oh, I'll, I'll just replace the pi by 3.14 and the radius by 3. And so 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 times 3. And so 6.28 times 3 equals 18.84. Now for circumference, it's just like perimeter, it's just lineal. It's not squared, okay? Only one dimension. And so that's it. But for some people who prefer to not have to remember an extra formula, they only want to remember these two. Well, for the diameter is just twice the match. So if the radius is three, diameter is going to be six times 3.14. And six times 3.14, we know that that's gonna be the answer, but if you can just check and it's going to be 18.84 inches again, okay? So circumference is linear, area is squared. Okay, this is another one. Find the area. Area is equal to pi r squared. Find the circumference. Circumference equals d pi and so we know that pi is 3.14 the radius is careful in here it says 10 centimeters but that's for the diameter we don't want the diameter we want the radius and the radius is going to be half of the diameter so that's five and so it's going to be 3.14 remember that we do the exponent first okay and so 5 squared is 25. And 3.14 times 20, 25 is 78.5 squared centimeters. Okay? Why squared? Because it's area. Area is two-dimensional. For the circumference, which is one dimensional, all you have to do is replace the D with the diameter, which is 10 times 3.14. And remember that when you multiply by a unit, uh, I mean, um, a power of 10, meaning 10, 100, 1000, all you have to do is count the, the, the zeros only if it has a one, okay? the zeros and you just move the decimal place. So in here, one zero, one decimal place, so it's gonna be 31.4 centimeters. If you're not sure about that, you can always just multiply 
oops, 3.14 times 10, and it will give you the 31.4. So that's all you have to do for today. Um, again, remember that area is to fill in the inside and circumference is to go around. So if you're putting fence around something circular, if you're putting ribbon about around something that is a circle, um, or if you're decorating with glitter inside and you need to know how much area you're covering, that will be area, okay? So area, the inside, circumference, around. And that's it, I hope you have fun. Now you can do 11.1.